Hello students, welcome to Brainingo. And today we will continue chapter number 14. In the last video, we discussed about mean and today we will discuss mode. And then we will derive the formula for mode also in this video. So what is mode? Mode is that value of a variate which occurs most often. That is the value of the observation having the maximum frequency. It can have no value, one value or more than one value. So what is mode basically? Mode is nothing but the value which has the maximum frequency. The data which is repeated the most. So that will have the maximum frequency. Okay, let's see this table here. So now this is a table which shows the number of wickets taken by a player in the number of matches. Okay, so see zero wicket was taken in one number of match. One ticket was, one wicket was taken in one number of match. Two wickets were taken in three numbers, uh, three matches, right? So the maximum frequency here is three. Okay, so the mode will be 2 in this case, which has the maximum frequency. 2 wickets were taken the most. Okay, in most of the matches, 2 wickets was taken, right? So, this is called the mode. Now, it can have no value, 1 value or more than 1 value. So, what does it mean? It means, see, if all these uh, frequencies are same, suppose they all are 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right? So, it, it has no mode. If one value means, just we can see here in the table, this has one value of mode which is 2. Okay. Now, more than one value, say, uh, there are frequencies which are same, maximum frequency, which, uh, for example, two frequencies are same here right 3 and 3 and they are maximum so the table will have more than one way one mode in this case but in case of a grouped data in which we uh, uh, we show the class right so in this data it is difficult to get the mode here so we, we can have the modal class for example this in this table this 3 to 5, this interval has the maximum, uh, this uh, class has the maximum frequency. So, this is called the modal class, 3 to 5, right? But a particular value, it is difficult to find out the particular value just by looking at the table, right? Or looking at the maximum frequency. So, for that, we use the formula. What is the formula? The formula is mode is equal to L plus F1 minus F0 upon 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. Now, what are these values? L is, this is the modal class, right? Which have the, has the maximum frequency here. L is the lower limit of the modal class, which is 3. F1 is the frequency of the modal class, which is 8 in this case. F0 is the frequency of the class, which is uh, preceding the modal class that is this one just before the modal class this interval is there right this class is there so 7 is the value of f0 then f2 f2 is the uh, frequency of the succeeding class okay succeeding modal class right so the, the 2 modal class is this one and what is the succeeding class here which is 5 to 7, that is 2 is the frequency for this. So, F2 is 2. H, H is the class interval. Okay, so class intervals we assume the same. So, here it is 2. 3 to 5, that is 5 minus 3 is 2. So, H in this case is 2. Now, we will derive. Okay, here we have used the formula to get the mode of this for this particular table. So, as I said, L is the lower limit, that is 3. F1 is the frequency of the modal class, which is 8. F0 is the frequency of this class, which is succeeding the modal class, which is preceding the modal class, that is 7. 
now 2 into 8 minus 7 minus 2 so 2 is what f2 okay this frequency which is succeeding the modal class okay and h is the class interval which is 2 in this case now we'll derive the formula for this mode how we got the mode for the grouped data for that i have made this graph which shows the frequencies there are three this is the modal class right this is the modal class this is the preceding class and this one is the succeeding class so for the modal class the frequency is f1 uh, the preceding class has the frequency as f0 and the succeeding class has the frequency of f2 and these are the points a b c d f e this is the lower limit of the modal class and h is the class interval okay so what we have done here is i have joined these points f d and a c okay so here we want to find out this ef this value okay because this point is the uh, mode here with the maximum frequency so this point we are we want to find out the value of this point right which is l plus fe okay this here this is the lower limit so this is l l plus fe this i am adding to l to get this value okay so we'll uh, see how to find out all right now in this figure if you see these two triangles i will draw it here these two lines are parallel right so if you see the triangle these two lines are there okay so So what I have done is I have drawn triangle B, C, D and B, C, A. Right. This point is A. Okay. So here if you see triangle B, E, A and B and E, C, D. These two triangles I am talking about. Right. So in these two triangles see this B, E, A. this triangle and c e d these two triangles right so if you see these two triangles these two angles will be equal they are vertically opposite angles so these two angles are equal now this is a parallel line lines right these two are the parallel lines so this angle will be equal to this angle the same way this angle will be equal to this angle so these two triangles are similar triangles right so in this triangle a b e is similar to triangle e c d so what does it mean it means the uh, ratio of the corresponding lines corresponding sides will be equal so in this case since these two triangles are similar so in this case a b upon c d is equal to b e upon e d right so now what is a b here a b upon c d now what is a b here if you see the figure a b a b is nothing but f 1 minus f 0 right what is a b f 1 minus f 0 this line right this this value so i will put here i will write f 1 minus f 0 then comes c d so what is c d here f 1 minus f 2 f 1 minus f 2 this value so which is what f1 minus f2 so ed here is f1 minus f2 okay now you see the triangle 
BEF and triangle BCD. Okay, I will draw it again for better understanding. This triangle which is B, E, F and B, C, D. B, C, D and B, E, F. These two triangles if you see, in these two triangles, see this is 90 degree angle. Okay. Now these two lines are parallel. So this angle is equal to this angle. If you see. So this angle will be equal to this angle FEB. And these two lines are parallel. So if you see this angle will be equal to this angle. Right. Angle CDB. This will be equal to this will be this angle. So these two triangles are again similar triangles. Angle FBE is similar to angle triangle triangle BCD. Right, so again the ratios of the corresponding sides will be equal. So EF upon BC, EF upon BC will be equal to BE upon BD. Right. So EF upon BC is equal to BE divided by now BD instead of BD I can write BE plus ED. Right. This is BD. So I can write BE plus ED. BE plus ED which is nothing but here we have seen BE upon ED is F1 minus F0 upon F1 minus F2. Right. So what I can write is instead of BE up, I can write F1 upon minus F0 and BE is F1 minus F0. I can write plus ED F1 minus F2. Right. Now this is what why I wrote like this, the ratio? If you see, see, it is just like if you see 8 by 16, which is 1 by 2, right? And what is 8 by 24? 8 by 24 is what? 8 by 16 plus 8, right? I can write 24 as 16 plus 8, which we have done here. BE plus ED, right? And then what we can do is 8 by 16 is the ratio of 1 by 2, right? So what I am doing is here is 1, 8 by 16. I have already taken the ratio, right? And here it is kind of simplification. We are taking 8 common out here. Right, so, okay, 1 by 2 plus 1. I have written the ratio this, 1 by 2, and then this we are adding, right, the uh, numerator. So, it comes out to be 1 by 3, 1 upon 3. So, which is the ratio of 8 by 24. So, this is the same thing, the same thing we have done in this case. We already knew the ratio of BE upon ED. Now BD we have written as BE upon plus ED. The same way we have written 8 by 24, 8 by 16 plus 8, right? And since 8 by 16, we already knew the ratio. So here we have done 1 upon 2 plus 1. So we got, right? So in this way we have found EF upon BC is equal to F1 minus F0 upon 2F1 minus F0 minus F2. Okay. Now what is EF? Here if you see 
EF is this value, okay, and BC. What is BC? BC is this value, and this value is what? H, right? This is the class interval BC. So BC is what? H here. Okay, so I will write down. E F upon H. I have written H instead of B C, which is the class interval, right? So is equal to F one minus F two upon. So the value of E F is F one minus F zero upon two F one minus F zero. Into H, right? BC is H, so this is what we have got. Now this is the value of EF. This is the value of EF. Now what is the mode here? The mode is L. L plus EF, right? If you see, L is the lower limit. L plus EF. This is EF. Okay. So what we receive, what we have got here is mode is equal to L, which is the lower limit. Plus E F. So instead of E F, I will write this thing. So here we have derived the formula for mode. This is what we uh, wrote initially: L L plus F one minus F zero upon two F one minus F zero minus F two into H. So this is how we derive the formula for mode so so i hope this video was helpful please like share and subscribe the video and i'll soon come with the next video till then keep learning happy learning thank you bye bye